Morning. Joining us here at Post 9, Apollo Global Management Chief Economist Torsten Slock and Truist Keith Lerner joins us as well. Guys, happy Friday. Great to have you both. Uh, Torsten, we were just talking about the 10-year back to 416. Um, is it just something weird about the shortened session? But why the volatility around the prints today? Well, there were some numbers that suggest, of course, the unemployment rate going up suggests that this could be a harder landing. But at the same time, wage growth did slow down a bit, which suggests it would be a softer landing. So the market is digesting the broader narrative, which here is that the Fed has been raising rates. And as a result of that, the economy is slowing. Employment has been slowing throughout the last six, nine months. And that process continues. And the question going forward is, is that then going to continue to go lower and ultimately below zero? Or are we going to stick at this level and move sideways, in particular with the challenge that the level of rates now still is very elevated? Fair to say, you, you've been a hard lander, yes? Absolutely. And you remain so after today? Well, because this process of slowing things down, if you think about the broader narrative of the Fed has hiked rates a lot, and that has resulted in things slowing down. Employment has slowed down. CapEx has been slowing down. GDP has been slowing down. And that process is likely to continue because the Fed has hiked rates to such high levels where we will continue to see the effects of high rates bite on consumers. We're seeing delinquency rates going up on credit cards and auto loans. We're seeing default rates going up on high yield. Those trends are likely to continue. And as Loretta Mesta just said, basically we will still have the negative effects of monetary policy beginning to have more and more negative impact on the economy more broadly. Negative impact in the economy, but potentially a, a better impact on the markets. Keith, I want to get your take about what you're seeing with regard to this engineered slowdown. Um, what, what phase of the cycle do you think it's currently in? I mean, there's all this talk about lag effects and so forth. Um, you know, do you think that we've, we've essentially reached a trough at this point, or is there still more to work through uh, in the remainder of the year? Yeah. Well, great to be with you. You know, we think right now there's this tricky period in the market where things are slowing down from a very high level. And the, 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 the question is, you know, is this normalization or is it moving as the discussion just moved towards a hard landing? We think that things will slow down and they're going to continue to slow down as we move later into this year, into next year as well. But in the, in the interim, more of a short term, the, what the market's reacting to is it is a little bit of a Goldilocks you know, number because, again, we looked at 187,000 on payroll. Uh, if you look at before the pandemic, the average job growth in 2019 was about you know, 160,000. Unemployment claims are still, you know, fine uh, as well. And if you look at it from a market perspective, what, what the market is really, uh, you know, I think focused on is earnings. Earnings are actually continuing to rise. Right now, the forward earning estimates for the market are at a 52-week high. So kind of bring this all together. Listen, I don't think this is a raging bull market. I mean, across our asset allocation, we're kind of neutral versus stocks, bonds, and cash. To, because of these cross currents. But I think on a, on a, on a kind of short to intermediate perspective, you've got to respect the underlying trend for the market is still somewhat positive.